My name is Cliff Harville. I'm the Disaster Response Superintendent for Hurricane Irene Recovery for the North Carolina Conference. Uh, we've been involved in Hurricane Irene uh, Recovery since August the 27th of 2011. Uh, our progress has been very good. Uh, over the uh, past two and a half years, we have rebuilt over 600 homes. We're currently finishing our ninth new home, and we're beginning another new home. Um, we first, uh, the first goal that we had set, we thought we would finish up by the end of December 2013. But uh, a few months before the end of the year last year, I realized we were not going to finish. We had uh, about 75 clients that we needed to finish, so we uh, evaluated our funding and looked at our volunteer support and decided that we were going to try to continue on. So the plan that is in place right now is that we are going to go through June, but with the development of one area that we're working in, uh, since we have finally gotten to one of the outlying areas, we have picked up a large number of cases in that area. We picked up another 18, 20 cases in a county that we really did not even get to until August of last year, 2013. So there's a strong likelihood that we may go on even beyond June of this year as long as we can bring in the funding and have the volunteer support. So we do need volunteer support. Uh, a lot of the work that we're doing now is, uh, is essentially the same jobs that we did in the beginning. Uh, we are still doing roofs. Uh, because we're this far along in the event though, because the roofs have been exposed and, and not well covered, uh, now we're doing, having to do a lot more extensive roof repair and even interior repair because of the leaks that have continued in these houses. We're hoping to begin, um, we're, as I said, we're beginning one new home uh, next month. We have one more new home that we know we need to do, but we have a couple of other major rebuilds. We have one home that we're in the process of contracting to elevate and completely rebuild and then a couple of other major rebuilds. Uh, then beyond that, we still have in the neighborhood of 70, 75 other cases. So uh, we still have a lot of work to do. We have uh, uh, the need for a lot of volunteers. We currently have volunteers booked every month uh, into August of this year, uh, but it's not full. It's, uh, we've got teams every month, but we don't have teams every week of, these, of those months. So uh, you can uh, pull the team together and come and see us. Our uh, current uh, operating facilities, uh, we do have a disaster recovery center uh, in Swan Quarter. That was one of our original locations. Uh, we're operating in Hyde County and Beaufort County from that location. And we also have our original Aurora uh, North Carolina operation and the one of the new construction jobs will be working out of the Aurora operation. The area that we've expanded into is Craven County, North Carolina, or it's where Newburn, North Carolina is and that's the area that we're having to develop uh, some new volunteer housing uh, op opportunities and uh, but that's the area that we currently have about 20 jobs with uh, one of the new homes and some of the major rebuilds. So those are the three primary areas that we're continuing to work in, Swan Quarter, uh, Aurora, and uh, in the Newburn area of North Carolina.